Hey everybody, welcome to another video and welcome to my driveway, aka the Wolf Kiff Workshop at the minute. As you can see behind me there, um, the tow hitch is in pretty bad shape on the uh, Shogun. So I've got a few new upgrades. As you can see when I last went off-road, <coughs> I ended up, this has been hit a few times. And you can see where it's rusted down there and it's cracked and it's actually come off. It got smashed off when I was off-roading. And that was because when this was sat on there, yeah, when this was sat on there, it actually sat lower than the tow bar. It was the lowest point of the back. So this kept getting beaten around. I got a new plate, um, some new bolts over there, and some other new bolts. I've also got a spacer if I need it. I've also got this upgraded tow bar, which actually, I have to admit, does look like it sticks down a bit more than that one. So I don't know what I'm going to put that on yet. But apparently, according to this, it says it's got a three and a half ton on this tow bar with a pin in place. So it's actually a hell of a towing thing, but I was thinking that linchpin there that could be removed. Really good if I ever need to be winched out backwards if I get stuck. So, yeah, I can have a look. But, uh, as you can see, because that sits there like that, and this means that both of my electrics, if I sit them on the holes above where the tow bar is, it means that the electrics will sit further up as well. So I'm just going to try and work out the logistics of it a little bit and uh, go from there. but then it means that the sockets would be the incorrect way around. So put it that way, it would sit perfectly. The option is to put it like this, but with this one underneath. Keep my original tow bar. Or do I just bolt it in with this one, suck it up with an extra inch on the toe in and have just a badass. That was the original idea. I suppose it depends on I want to tow my trailer anymore with this vehicle, doesn't it? The only other option is putting this one in here, but the only problem with that is it hangs down lower. So until, until I get my lift kit. I think this might be the best option I've got. So here's the next update. These are completely seized. So what I've had to do is grab my hacksaw because I'm going to have to try and chop these bolts off the back if I'm going to save these. If not, I might have to, have to suck it up and order some new ones. I really don't want to spend any more money on the towing. But and um, but the tow bar setup I've gone for because I found that these, these are so rusty and gnarly. They're not good anymore, they're junk really, unless I can clean them up with the wire wheel or something maybe later. But time is of the essence really, so what I've done is I've fitted the gnarly sort of agricultural more tow pull, but I've actually fitted it a pin further up, so it will be higher if I am trying to tow something. So I'm going to have to try out my trailer with it just to see if it makes a difference, but this is a definitely a more heavy duty tow ball, and I've just bolted this in straight in where it is, so that's nice and tight now. And um, what I need to do next, and also one thing I quite like is it's got these little pins, so you don't actually lose these like linch pins in our clip to hold the main pin in, which is quite cool. So even if you pull them off, you're not ever going to lose any of it, which is really quite badass. I do like that. So yeah, I'm going to start sawing these. Hopefully, the next shot that will be all free and ready to be threaded through these holes and bolted in for good. All right. So unfortunately, this other wiring is sitting. Now you can't see it very well in this light, but. Uh, yeah, the old, uh, these ones are so rusty, as you can see, I couldn't get those nuts to turn at all. So what I've had to do is snip the wiring off, um, which is quite a good thing, really, because I've, I've got a lot of extra wire to play with down there. But, uh, yeah, with this one, with snipping it off, at least I know which colour wire goes where as well. I mean, I've got diagrams anyway, but to be honest, this is a nice, easy way to save me going on the computer. The only problem is I'm going to have to buy a split charging one and a... Uh, Tow and electrics one. So not exactly the uh, end result I was hoping for, but uh, to be honest, it is on there. Right, here we are back on the Shogun. Uh, today I've got the parts. Um, 
I needed, things like that. So I'm gonna try and finish it off. I'll show you where I've got to so far. As you can see, I put this one on um, just to check it out really, the like agricultural sort of heavy duty tow bowl, uh, which is really good. But the only thing, one thing you will notice is it's on the second set of holes up here, which means the tow ball itself is higher, which isn't good really, because it means that all the trailers and stuff are gonna be sat a bit up like that when they're hooked on. Plus the bottom part is actually lower than that which means it's more likely to get caught. So I think this tow ball's gonna have to come back off, um, wait until the Jeep's actually raised, and then I can put it back on because then there's no chance of it getting hit. But for now, I'm gonna put the original tow ball back on, on the bottom bit so it's easier to tow with and there's nothing hanging down to uh, catch anything. But also one thing I didn't actually film is you may have to see, I got a new towing electrics sort of socket for the, um, which is just for the lights on the trailer, which is good. That was the main one, so that one's on. Um, and here's the wiring, you can see I've cable tied it up. This is for split charging, which is what this socket is for today. And also, I've got another pair of the smaller bolts, because uh, the plan is, is I'm gonna bolt the original tow ball through the original things, the holes at the bottom, so that will sit nice and low. But I'm gonna use the small bolts then to hold this up on the higher setting, so the sockets will still sit up further and away from the floor, which means it's less likely to get hit. All right, so first thing I'm gonna tackle is this wire in here. Um, just because I'm thinking it's gonna be easier to bolt the new socket onto this plate with this bolted in because these are so badly rusted. So there's enough wire in there and you can see which color kind of went to which pin which is really good because this one is also numbered. Right so I'm struggling to hold the camera and uh, show you at the same time. <laughs> it's worked like sort of one-handed. I've taped this bit up because it's a bit of damaged wire in from where it actually all got ripped off before but the first thing we're gonna have to do is put one of these back on. This one again is a little bit busted at the end but I'm gonna clean it off and tape that up so it should be good but you always have to put this over the wire first before you do your socket otherwise you can't do it after without having to strip it down again i'm going to do slide this piece out of the main socket we don't need the socket for a minute so that can go down there yeah and we're going to screw the wires into here um and they're going to be corresponding to the colors was on this one because this one was working before it got smashed so if it starts off you've got this flat blades you undo them push the wire into where they go just tighten them back down again as you can see the top one's already undone there so you can see what i mean and then as the threads come through it pinches it closed on the wire all right now that's all wired in time to put the socket on i'm an idiot i'd uh, unbottled this before i uh yeah without it being on camera but yeah the plan is this is going to go up there and the other tow ball is going to go below it first thing i'm going to do is bolt these on um i've got some special very small bolts for that um so they should be perfect to bolt this one in This is exactly what I wanted, to be honest. This is everything relocated, the tow bar is still there. The first thing is gonna to touch, if it touches anything, is the tow bar. That's the only thing about spacing it out backwards is more likely to hit, but I'm gonna to have to be really unlucky. If you look at where the towing electrics are now compared to where they used to be, which is down here, I'm gonna to have to be really unlucky to hit these. Which... Right, so after you've wired these in, you put, put the, uh, the socket inside the cover that goes over the front, so it's like that. You'll find it'll only go in one way as well. Sorry, it's not been very informative. You actually then screw this to the plate, and from behind it, these are actually eight mil nuts, and in the front, it's just a Phillips head screw. Some of them are flat blades, but you just need a screwdriver and an eight mil spanner, really. And then you've got three of them. You've got two on the top and one on the bottom. And then you just screw them in. And uh, what we've had to do with mine, I say sorry again, I've not recorded much of this, but I've been solo cameraman today, is I've had to slice this a tiny bit and bend it up just so that the um, tow bar wasn't sitting over half of it. Yeah, so that's the finished product. As you can see, I've used a standard tow ball for now um, because it's not hanging down as much, so that'll be good for off-road, but and also better for towing because I don't want to mount it up top. But I have mounted the towing electrics up top, which has brought these up off the ground a bit more. And I've got one either side rather than having them stacked one on top of the other, which meant that they kept getting caught and that's what ultimately broke them. Well, I hope you didn't find this update too boring on the uh, project car or the project truck there. Um, just a little bit of an update really more than anything else of what I've been up to on it and uh, yeah, repairing some of the damages. But uh, yeah, if you did like it, hit like, hit subscribe and uh, keep up to date with all of our project car updates, hints and tips and walk arounds. Thanks guys.